These hot, dry conditions we've been talking so much about make it so easy for fires like that to spread so quickly. At least nine fires burned across North Texas yesterday, and crews are out again today trying to protect homes and land. Rural departments especially, they are feeling the strain of constantly fighting these fires. Our Nick Starling is in Hood County tonight where three firefighters were hurt fighting the Colony Fire. That fire tonight only 60% contained after burning more than 460 acres of land. We're at the Colony Fire just north of Toller. You can see the charred ground here, stopping just short of homes. Crews on the front lines here say it almost feels like Groundhog's Day, as the threat of wildfires is a daily concern. Fire crews at it again, dousing hot spots and responding to yet another call. In North Texas alone, there were nine active fires yesterday, three new sparks in Parker, Wise, and Hood counties. We don't normally do that much. Normally, we put a lot of resources onto one fire as need be. Putting strain on local resources. This is as bad as it gets. Ron Becker is the fire chief at the Crescent Volunteer Fire Department. When they responded to the colony fire yesterday, a teenage volunteer was injured with burns to his face and arms. He went to the hospital, but is back home now. Things were looking great with him, and uh, uh, he... Uh, he went home last night, didn't even stay a night in the hospital. One of their five smaller brush trucks is broken, and this large one needs a new tire after hitting a sharp rock. Our equipment is getting taxed this year. We've got broken, we've got broken trucks that everyone is trying to fix. And our guys are running a lot too, you know, they're, they're working hard. To help them, they urge you to avoid doing anything that will cause a spark. Truly any spark that lands in tall grass or dry fuels can cause a fire. We know these are dangerous fires. We respect them. We're not going to play games with them. The Texas A&M Forest Service says they've noticed some of the wildfires are seemingly close to the ones that sparked this past winter, such as the Big L fire just five miles away from here. They say that just shows them how busy the wildfire season it's been. In Hood County, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News.